How do you provide an overview of the types of results that might be returned from a diagnostic test? When I'm talking about a test, I'd want to make sure that um, the family understood what the test was looking for. So is it looking at a few genes? Is it looking at lots of genes? Or is it trying to look at all of the genes? And then be able to talk a bit about what, um, what the potential outcomes of that might be. I explained that there are three possible outcomes of that uh, test. One, that the test may, may identify that they have a genetic variant that predisposes them to a disease. And then I would you know, explain what the implications of that result would be. And the second type of uh, result that I always talk about is a negative result, because more often than not, we, we do panels, and therefore we're only looking at a li limited number of genes. And therefore, um, it might be that we, we haven't looked at the particular gene that was causing the condition, and therefore we might get negative results. This doesn't mean that the patient, the diagnosis changes for the patient because they're still clinically diagnosed with the, with the condition or their suspected condition, but it just means we either have to keep on looking, wait until we can have a more comprehensive test. Um, and so with that, sometimes there's an expectation that the result will be useful to the patient. In this case, it, it's kind of not, uh, not so much. And then there's a class of variants called variants of uncertain significance, for which we don't have enough evidence to say whether they actually cause disease or are harmless, but most of them are harmless or benign. Families often find it helpful to know how long it's going to take to get the results. Um, as medical and health professionals, we tend to, we tend to think that waiting months for a test is quite normal, but for most patients, they will be used to getting their test results from the GP within a week or two, and so waiting months seems like a long time. For others of them, they've been waiting years for an answer for this particular condition in the family, so actually a few more months might, might not feel like a particularly long time. I think the last thing is that they need to have an expectation that we might not get an answer through this test. Um, so sometimes it can be that we really build ourselves up that if this is a test that's looking at all of the genes, it must give us an answer. Um, but actually that's not always going to be the case.